Hi everyone, it's Carolyn from In The Gray and I wanted to do an update because I went to a really cool event today that I think you'd like to know about. It was put on by Gateway Greening, which is an organization here in the St. Louis area that gets people involved in growing their own food in like community gardens and I don't know that much about them, but from what I've heard and what I've seen today, I'm going to definitely be checking them out more often. I actually heard about it on Facebook. Someone invited me to a seed sale and I went. And so I wanted to share with you all what I got and update you on a few things that um, we talked about before. So let's go through. We had first, now all of the seed packets, except for seeds that they had saved themselves, were 25 cents. So like this seed packet says $1.99. It's a Fairy Moore seed. You might recognize it. I think it's like available at Walmart or one of the big box stores. And so I got some pak choy. Now this says it was packed for sale by December of 2019. So germination rates, from what I understand, decrease as time goes on, but I'm not that concerned about it because if I need to plant six plants to get four, I'll still be fine. I, this is a seed I didn't have before and I wanted to give it a shot. I got some beets, a gourmet blend. They're heirloom old fashioned beets. Thought those looked neat. I got some broccoli. I've never grown broccoli before, but I'm willing to give it a shot this season if I can find the space. Got Savoy cabbage. I grew cabbage last year and it's one of the things that I really enjoyed watching grow um, when it's forming the head. It's really cool. Uh, cucumber, lemon cucumber. I've only heard about this one. I think it'll be really interesting if I can get it to grow. I had a huge problem last year with the uh, cucumber beetles and the squash bugs. The American flag leek. Baby greens, red Russian kale always excited about red vegetables. A long-standing cilantro or coriander, coriander, basil, uh, cinnamon basil, lemon basil, Emily basil. This is a Baker Creek seed that says sell by December of 2019. So these, these are a month, less than a month after their sell by date. We got winter and summer savory, which I'm extra excited about because I get to share that with someone special who really likes this herb. More, uh, Fairy Morse rosemary, watercress. That's another savory. And I got some So Easy carrots, which is like the rainbow carrots, which the So Easy just means that they have put something over the care the seeds to make them a little bit larger a little bit easier to handle um, so we'll see how those turn out red burgundy okra okra is one of my favorite things to grow I especially enjoy eating it raw straight off the plant uh, some so easy parsley again those coated seeds I don't have any experience with those so I was really interested to try those some bunching onions. I know we started seeds for onions, but those are bulb onions, not bunching onions. So we'll see how those turn out. Lavender. Now this was the seed that I bought that they saved from their, well, I think that they saved from their garden uh, because it's packaged and it says Gateway Greening on it. And this one was a dollar, which is still really affordable. And it's the Armenian cucumber, which I think is actually a musk melon or a bitter melon. I don't know if those are exactly the same thing. I got sweet banana peppers, watermelon radishes, white radishes, daikon, cherry radishes. I got the summer patty pan squash, which I grew the scallop squash last year, which looks just like this, but is yellow. And it is hands down my favorite squash. It tastes very buttery and delicious. I got a regular yellow squash. I got a scallop blend. I thought since I like that one so much, I might like the others. 
I got some flowers, some carnations, some Shasta daisies, they're dwarf silver princess, some snapdragons. My main objective in the garden is to grow food. However, I really enjoyed the few flowers that I did grow last year. Things, the main flower I grew last year was marigolds. And so I thought having a few different kinds of flowers could really improve how much I enjoy the garden, which is already so much. I got a buttercup squash. These are winter squash. It's spaghetti squash. Someone at work was asking about the spaghetti squash. So I got some seeds for that. Honey boat delicata squash. I got some pink banana squash, which I'm really excited about. I have a friend in California who grew the banana squash, but it was yellow. And that, she sent me some seeds for that also. Um, some pansy seeds. Some zinnia seeds. These are the peppermint stick zinnias. I got some Oklahoma mix. Some cactus flower blend. Northern Lights blend. Lots of zinnias. Some Brussels sprouts, which I have also never grown, but someone on Instagram told me they were one of the coolest things to watch grow, so I might give that a shot this year. Squash, Ford Hook Zucchini squash, the green kind. I also got some sprouts mixes. This one just says salad mix. It's got some brassicas, some amaranth, um, and so we have just started, I don't know if you can see behind me, but we've just started working on trying to grow some microgreens. I wanted to give them a shot before I tried to show anyone else. And I got some red clover sprouts. So I got all of these seeds. This is 45 packages of seeds for $12. $12. You can definitely garden on a budget. They also had these Pro Hex which I'm not a huge fan of this. And they're relatively thin, but they'll definitely work this year for any seeds that I need to start. I got this for $1. They also had some free garden books. This one is from Earth to Table, and this one has some recipes and things in it from things you might grow in the garden. So I thought that was cool. I got the, um, the Ortho Home Gardener's problem solver uh, being pretty new to gardening this has trees and shrubs annual annuals perennials bulbs and it has all kinds of things that might happen with colorful pictures and so I thought that that would help me identify if I had any problems with any of my plants and then finally I got the vegetable gardeners Bible and so he actually goes through in this book I haven't read these obviously because I just got them today but he goes through some individual crops in the in this book that I thought could be helpful it's got composting and pest control and all kinds of stuff so I got this for free so think about what community organizations you have that are working in your area that might be able to help you get started if you're trying to start a garden on a budget I wanted to update on a couple of things one in one of my previous videos, we planted onion seeds and we planted some goji berry seeds. And I got, I think, 100% germination on my goji berries. And so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm waiting for them to just get a little bit bigger before I separate them or put them in their own pots to, to keep growing. Also, we have the onion seeds that we started. They've been in the tent under the grow light and they're starting to get big. They are going to be awesome to put out in the garden bed once we have time. So that's the red of Florence and this is the yellow onion. So pretty excited about how those are growing. I'm looking forward to in the next few weeks starting some of my brassica seeds to get those ready to go into the garden as soon as the weather starts to lighten up. So I hope you found some inspiration to get out and find out about the organizations that are existing in your community that could help you get started growing things. It's the most exciting thing I've ever done. So don't.
So don't forget, you can find treasures in most un the most unexpected places. And I encourage you to give it a try, to give it a go. Until next time.